Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Silver stackers across the globe, I bring to you another video covering the beautiful world of precious metals. This video is special because I have a couple huge announcements to make and I genuinely, I'm really excited to share this stuff with you guys. So, uh, I've been cooking up something behind the scenes for the true silver addicts like me. How cool would it be if we could express our love for silver stacking through the clothes we wear? I bring to you my new updated merch store. So here are some of the featured products. As you can see, we have some new stuff in stock. This is my favorite personally. The dollar is worthless, so buy silver. And on the back, it says 3-9 spine. Uh, I just think that looks so wicked. We also have the redesigned Got Silver shirt. And on the back, it says because I do. I think that's just so cool. We have different colorways, right? Everything is, is just super clean. I, I tried to make everything kind of subtle, low-key, but also clean and, and get to the point, right? Everything does stand out, but it's also, it's not too flashy. It's not too crazy. This is stuff that I'm genuinely going to wear all the time. I ordered one of everything, and I'm so excited for this stuff to come in. A great conversation starter, right? If someone sees you wearing this, you know, this would be a uh, they're, they're probably going to be interested in, in, in what this means. And I think that's so cool that, that you're going to be able to plant that seed of silver inside so many other people's brains, right? This hoodie is definitely one of my favorites. I think because it's the white, the white font on top of it where the other one was black. I think it pops really nice. Um, we even have a whole bunch of different colorways for the greedy shirt which this is a beautiful design. This thing looks wicked in person. The hoodie, the greedy hoodie, the black on black looks insane. I don't know why. It's because you can still see the, do the, the Dollar Crash logo, like, but it's real subtle. So yeah, this is my new merch drop. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you like all the products. Let me know what your favorite is. Um, I, I have another announcement to make though too. So... We hit 45,000 subscribers, which means I'm doing my 45,000 subscribers silver giveaway. The entry video is going to be posted in the next couple of days, so make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned. You don't want to miss the entry video. Thank you all so much for the insane amount of support on this channel. I'm going to keep kicking butt. I'm going to keep putting in the hours upon hours a day of work. The, the the insane amount of research I do just to make sure you guys have the most up-to-date information, always keeping you guys in the loop. So yeah, I just, I'm really excited about these two things. I really love how the merch uh, turned out. I hope you guys enjoy it. And the link will be in the description if you guys want to check out or purchase any of these listings. So yeah, let's jump in the video. <music> So how high can silver go? How high do you think silver can go? I want you guys to, to answer that question in the comment section below. Now, this question has a lot of gray area because does he mean how high can silver go in 10 years or how high can silver go in 100 years, right? The, the answer could be drastically different. We're going to break this question down to our time frame 15 20 years because by that time most of us will have sold so if we're looking at this question i mean it, there's a, there's a lot to it because this is a theoretical question how high can it go not how high will it go and if you're going to throw a number out there explain your reasoning i could say 500 dollars, but if i don't explain why i think that i'm not saying much so this guy actually is talking about 200 plus dollars and he he explains his reasoning, so we're going to dive into that. The link to this article will be in the description. Let's jump into it. So, how high can silver go? It's been an interesting subject over the last few months, and one that has led to naturally outlandish YouTube video titles and calls from some ridiculously high price targets. So, let's look at this sensibly and the fundamentals that will need to play out for silver to hit new highs. So, if we are going to look at new highs, it's not that crazy. Silver's highest price isn't that high. If you look at the grand scheme of things, if you look at silver's real value, if you look at everything that affects silver's price, especially moving forwards 
over the next couple decades, $50 isn't that crazy of a target to reach, especially looking at what led silver to $50 the past, you know, two times in 1980 and 2011. Things are much more severe now. So if you want to talk about crazy high silver prices, we're living in crazy times. So silver, like most other major commodities, is a dollar-denominated product. Therefore, when the price of the dollar is strong, foreign investment demand for silver isn't as attractive. This isn't always the case, by the way, but this is the general rule. The dollar, like all fiat currency, is losing its purchasing power. I mean, we know that, and it's not going to get any better. So the rate that money is being printed in the United States, it will only serve to debase even further, making the dollar weaker. And if we know the dollar is going to get weaker, and we know that a weak dollar equals higher silver prices, then we can literally guarantee higher silver prices in the coming future. But that's only one reason that silver has potential. So, however, if the dollar was to lose its status as the world reserve currency and collapse, then all bets are off on how high silver could go. And that is something that is extremely overlooked. See, every country across the globe relies on the dollar's strength. Some countries are already opting out. This pandemic has exposed how broke, how poor the United States really is. And that's a scary thing if you want to think about, you know, on a global scale. So inflation, note the title is inflation, not hyperinflation. The definition of which is prices rising out of control, typically 50% uh, 50 per month. And we aren't there at this moment. The CPI is the manipulated government measure of inflation. And we all know it isn't representative of everyday consumer prices. At present and for the last few months, just about everything is going up in price. But that's expected. The dollar's lost 98% of its purchasing power, 44% in the last 20 years, though. It's rapidly getting worse. And now we have to throw out trillions of dollars, not only for stimulus, but the Green New Deal. So that's going to make things get even worse. If we want to see where silver prices are going to go, we have to also look at gold prices. The gold to silver ratio is a great tool, great insight to look at the price of gold and silver. And that's where this guy really talks about these higher silver prices. So let's see what he has to say. So what price could silver get to? According to the U.S. debt clock, silver should be at $4,797. But this is implausible. If we take the highs of 1980 and adjust for CPI inflation, that puts silver somewhere just above $140 now. If we take the historical gold to debt ratio of today's levels and place it against the mean of the gold to silver ratio, it puts silver around $180. If we look at the mining ratio out of the ground and apply it against gold price today, it would put silver around $228. If we take the lowest gold to silver ratio over the last 50 years, it puts silver at $122. And that, that's sitting at the current price of gold. So it's, it's something that doesn't really matter because silver is $28 regardless of what it says on usdebtclock.org. But I do think that this does give some insight since silver is going to start taking on a life of its own and the gold to silver ratio is going to start to, to uh, I guess, dissipate in relevance. And why I say that, why I say that is because gold and silver are used for two completely different things. So the prices shouldn't be so directly correlated. And now what silver's main component is, the real reason why my name is Silver Slayer, not Gold Slayer, is starting to happen. The rapidly rising demand. We haven't needed silver like this ever before, especially looking in the next 20, 30 years at an alarmingly rising rate. And I don't think we can keep up with it. So there's not enough silver to go around. Gold is plentiful. It gets recycled. Silver gets thrown away. So out of the four subtitles mentioned above. While there are groundworks taking place for all of them, we are yet to see hard evidence of any. Hence, the price of silver is creeping based up upon rumor and possibility of each. Every, everyone on its own has the potential to propel silver significantly higher. However, if we were 
to get a system collapse and a reset, I would suggest triple dollar silver would be a given. And yes, it would. Some argue that this is a 300% or so increase from today's price and it won't happen. When an asset is as cheap as silver is, then we aren't talking about major numbers. From the March lows of 2020 to the August 2020 highs, silver's price increased by around 157%. One could argue that after a dramatic sell-off, but even without that, ma that major drop from its pre-COVID levels to August highs, it still increased 76% in that short time frame. Silver was the number one performing asset of 2020, and nobody's talking about it. A lot of people didn't even know, and you want to know why? They don't care, or they don't want you to know. If Bitcoin was the number one performing asset in 2020, headlines would be everywhere. Silver is one of the most undervalued assets on the planet, yet it wouldn't be if the short manipulation didn't occur. JP Morgan and other seven major banks stronghold has to end soon. You know, there's spoofing. There's a lot of stuff going on with these shady banks. Positioning yourself from current levels waiting for this day to come makes a lot of sense, and savvy investors have been front running it for some time. Always remember, though, nothing goes up with a straight line, so patience is going to be key here for what we should get some big rewards in the next few years. I like how he says few years. And yes, there it's not going to go up in a straight line. We don't want it to. If it does, if it goes up, 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 it's going to crash, 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 crash. The dips, the sell-offs, the corrections are only opportunity to buy silver for cheaper because we know it's going to go back up. We know the real value of silver. A lot of people, they don't though. They don't have faith. They don't understand. They're in it for the wrong reasons. So yeah, I, I thought this was a great article. I thought it showed a lot of insight on silver's potential, but also the, the backstory. If we're going to talk about $100 plus silver, we have to give a good reason. And this article explains some pretty good reasons. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you thought this video was educational, informational, at least entertaining, make sure to smash the like button. Also, remember to go check out my merch store. We have some really cool stuff that just launched. I definitely think that you guys are going to look beautiful wearing some of this stuff. And uh, if you want to check it out, the link's in the description. Let me know what you think about this stuff. I put a lot of time and energy and thought into these into these ideas and these designs. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Make sure you subscribe for my 45,000 subscriber giveaway. This was Silver Slayer. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.